What's up guys? It's about 15 degrees outside today here in East Lyme, Connecticut. It's freaking freezing out. I don't feel like doing anything outside. Decided to make this video today. This is a video that I've wanted to make for a few weeks now. Uh, this is what's inside my nomadic Peter McKinnon backpack. A lot of the videos on YouTube about this bag are about its build quality and construction and how durable it is. And that's all fantastic. This video is about what you can fit in this bag or what I can fit in this bag for my photography and videography business. I need to be able to take two bodies with me. I need to be able to bring my drone, an extra battery. I need microphones, lav mics. I need several lenses. I need ND filters, extra batteries for my camera and a couple other things. So I'm going to show you what I can fit in this bag, how I've got it organized and how well the workflow works for me. Of note, I spent $250 on this backpack. I bought it used on eBay. Uh, it was a little hard to justify spending $400 on this bag brand new. I thought that's pretty steep. A couple quick notes. I'm filming this video on the A7S III with the 20mm 1.8. By the way, I'm filming in 4K, 24 frames a second, S-Log2 for anybody who's interested in this. It also has my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus mic, which would be in this bag. I do have a couple substitutes in here just to show you the bag full, and then I'll show you the bag at the end with everything that I typically leave the house in in this bag. Let's start at the top of the bag. At the top, I have my DJI Mavic 2 Pro with a battery in it and one extra battery. I pretty much am able to get everything I need with just two batteries. I carry my ND filters with it, the remote controller, and this, it takes up pretty much no space, is my uh, Loom Cube anti-collision light for the drone. Proceeding down the bag, again, this is a substitute camera from what I'm filming on. This is Sony A7 III body number one for me with the Tamron 28275 on it. This fits perfectly in this little slot right here. I keep an extra um, back lens cap and I keep an extra camera body lens cap in here just in case. You know, I'm always switching lenses and switching cameras so it's nice to have a couple extra of those. In this section right here where my Rode VideoMic Pro Plus microphone would go, I have the Rode VideoMic Go. Great little microphone, doesn't take up too much space, you've got to have one. Always have one of these little guys with you, these are excellent to have, get dust on your sensor, your lens, you know the deal. Proceeding down, I've got my Sony 24-70 2.8G Master. This is the first nice lens that I ever bought. I bought this used from B&H for like $2,100 and you can tell why they cost a lot of money. They are phenomenal. Moving on, in this section, I carry two Rode Wireless Go microphones. These things are great. I used them the other day. You get about like seven hours out of a charge, which I'm super happy with. And of course, to get that extra crispy audio, I carry the Rode uh, Lav Mic. Where is it? The little Rode Lav Mic with this, uh, just to get that little extra detail in that audio there. These are great by themselves, but, um, you know, you don't want that box clipped onto somebody's collar or somebody's shirt. I'd rather just have this little thing on there. At the bottom of the bag here, I carry Sony a7 III body number two. This is actually the one that I've had for longer. The other one barely gets used. It's immaculate, which is really nice. On this body, I have the 70 to 180 2.8 Tamron zoom lens. This is a great little lens. Uh, we bought it to photograph a wedding with. Jill usually just took the A7 III body and her 28 to 75, but she needed more reach, so I ended up getting one of these one day. Now, I leave this lens on the body, in the bag. It fits perfectly in the bottom. Um, I do have the Sony 70 to 200 2.8 G Master, but if you had it on the body, in the bag, it's not going to fit, and I'd rather have the two bodies with me in the bag rather than one body and just the 70 to 200 28 g master on the bottom and next to that tucked in this little corner over here is my sony zeiss 16 to 35 f4 awesome little lens takes up basically no space in the bag so that is everything that i keep in the main section of the bag this is everything that i need where i can just you know get a phone call hey frank can you come and photograph this or hey frank can you come and take a video of this 
this right here will get the job done. I just grab my Ronin S or uh, a tripod and I'm good to go. Moving on to this sleeve here in the inside part of the back of the backpack, I guess you would call it. I carry four Peter McKinnon ND filters. I carry two 77 millimeter filters and I carry two 82 millimeter ND filters. I don't really have to talk about these. You guys probably know how amazing they are. If you've used them, you know. If you haven't and you do video, you've got to get some. I actually got these two 77 millimeter filters uh, on eBay used for 300 bucks uh, together. All the original packaging, the guy even sent me two step up rings. This was a heck of a deal because one of them costs either 250 or $300. Now we're gonna move up to the next section up here. And I have, I don't have to show you these, but one, two, three, four. There's four batteries in here right now. I've got two batteries charging. So I have six extra batteries. Some of them are knockoff brand. And I carry step up rings in here, which uh, these are a must have if you've got a variety of different lenses and you do video and you need ND filters. Proceeding to the front of the bag where we've got this flap here. See if this is gonna work here. I gotta balance this out. I haven't looked in here in a while. I forget what I have. All right, up here, I carry just a little video light in case I need light for anything. We have a, this is a gray card. I carry four of these, um, don't technically know what they're called, but we'll just call them uh, ND filter flip ups. <laughs> so. Uh, these things are awesome. If you're doing photo and video at the same time, which we all know is a very tough job, um, what you do is you just screw the ND filter onto the outside of this um, contraption right here, and then you screw the inside part onto the lens. So what you do is you're taking video, somebody says, hey, can you grab a photo for me real quick? You just take this, flip this up. This has the ND filter on it. Now you're able to take uh, a photo with no ND in the way. I know a lot of us have been in this situation and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass trying to explain to somebody, oh, hey, uh, hey, wait, let me take this uh, ND filter off. I got these on Amazon. I think they were like 20 bucks a piece. They're great. Next pocket down, I carry a couple extra um, drone propellers. I have crashed a drone a couple times. So these are always good to have. I carry... Um, some tripod mounts. I've got a couple big ones for my wildlife lenses and a couple smaller ones just for my everyday lenses like I'm uh, using right now when you don't have a lot of weight on it. Over in this section right here, I carry a very cheap flash with me. Uh, if I'm doing a wedding or something, I have two Godox V1 flashes that I will use, but this is just, you know, if I'm out somewhere and uh, I wasn't planning on using a flash, if I need it, um, I have it. Over here, just some spray to clean the lenses and some wipes over here. Got to have some uh, extra batteries. Been in plenty of situations where I didn't have one and felt like an idiot. Um, and over here, oh, a little cash. Nice to have uh, a few bucks to tip somebody or um, if you need a drink, something like that. So that's what I carry in my Peter McKinnon Nomadic backpack. I'm really happy with this bag. I love it. It's got great space. I used to carry a Tenba bag. I think that's how you say it. And where everything in this bag is kind of laid out like flat in the Tenba bag, I had to have a lot of stuff standing up and I didn't really like that. I, didn't, I don't really like the deep profile of the bag. I kind of like the longer profile of it. This is my setup. This is the bag that I can grab if I get a phone call and it's like, hey Frank, can you come out and grab something for us? I just grab this and I'm ready to go. I'm super happy with it. Um, you can carry it around for a while without feeling super uncomfortable. You know, there are times where we all never want to leave our gear out of our sight, so you have to put it on your, your back and wear it, but um, it gives you a couple of the straps. I won't talk about these because uh, other videos have it. Um, you know, and it, it's, it's carryable for a little while. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you liked it, can you give it a like and maybe give me a uh, subscribe? I'm approaching 600 followers, which is uh, super exciting for me. Um, slowly climbing towards a thousand. Thanks a lot for watching.